I looked at the fighters several times and I said, no, thank you. I said, no, thank you several times to David or Russell. And um, I'm first of all, 15, 20 years too young to play the mother he wanted portrayed. So that's rude to me and that's rude to all women everywhere. Because the woman who has nine children, who has to have been at least 15 years older, if not 20 years older than I, looks at me on the screen and goes, gosh, why don't I look like that? Because sweetheart, I'm 20 years younger than you are. This is casting bullshit. So again and again and again, I said, no, thank you to David O. Russell and eventually accepted with a lot of pressure from my representatives, a kind of pressure I'd never felt before in getting work. I had never said no to that much work. I had just been nominated for lead actress for an Oscar. I figured some good stuff was coming. This did not look to me like good stuff. It looked like a interesting supporting role that I was many years too young to play opposite who? Christian Bale and Mark Wahlberg, I'm nine years older than those guys. What, and seven other kids? One of those actresses was a year older than I. It's problematic. That's as far as I'll go in the story of, the, of, of, of Fighter. It was, it was not to me like, oh, this is great, in the least. Interesting, but no more than that. Generally speaking, when I'm reading scripts, I'm looking for what's interesting in it. Nowadays, I'm looking for what are they having the woman of a certain age do? And I find that more and 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 more, I have to say, no, thank you. I'm so special, but because I feel that women are more special than what they're willing to portray.